Today I'm demonstrating how to use bank sub accounts in QuickBooks Online. Bank sub account functionality for banks offers some interesting opportunity. The functionality is different than for income and expense accounts just by a shade. Let's assume the chairman of your board of directors asks you to open up a second or third or fourth account at Wells Fargo just to segregate funds for whatever reasons. Now, what can go wrong with having multiple physical bank accounts at Wells Fargo? Well, you could write a check on the wrong account. You could make a deposit to the wrong account. You could forget to transfer funds from one to the other. And of course, you could always do a transfer backwards. You sent the funds from A account A to account B when you meant to send it the other way around. All of those could be embarrassing and time consuming and may very well cost you some money in fees. And you've got to do multiple reconciliations because you have multiple accounts. Having more multiple account or having multiple accounts at Wells Fargo means you're spending more time and you have a much greater opportunity for error. Instead of opening separate accounts at Wells Fargo, set up one master account in QuickBooks to represent the single checking account at Wells Fargo. And then you open more one or more bank sub accounts. Bank sub accounts in QuickBooks give you all the same segregation of transfers, deposits, and withdrawals, withdrawals being checks, debit cards, electronic funds, transfers. And you only get a single statement from the bank and QuickBooks Online functionality consolidates all the transactions of your master and your sub accounts so you only need to perform one reconciliation. Let's see how that works. So I've created a single bank account at Wells Fargo, account number 552288. Obviously I made that up. I've created a sub bank account called the Borehole Reserve Funds. So let's see how this transaction actually works. Wait for it. There we go. So this is a list of the transactions that have happened in the master account. Now, obviously these are master account and the sub account are all the same animal, but in our balance sheet, we segregated these out. So you can see my initial deposit in June was uh, $5,000, a little over. Then I made a transfer to open up the second account, the sub account. I transferred the money to the sub account of $1,000. I wrote a check on the master account, and this is all being recorded in QuickBooks, for $1,000, and I made a deposit in the master account for $350. Of my total balance of $5,667.52, $4,312.52 is allocated to the master account in QuickBooks. Okay. So, here's our 56, 67, 52. Here's our 43. Here's our 135500, zero, zero, which we've assigned or allocated to the reserve funds. And guess what? We can treat that as exactly a second account. It's exactly the way it operates in QuickBooks. So you can see the initial transfer. You can see that I wrote a check of $555, I'm sorry, deposit of $555 directly to the secondary account, the sub account. And I wrote a check that I've assigned to the sub account for my balance of 1355.00. And again, if I go to the bank, I've got one account, I will see $5,662.52. But this allocates it here with much less hassle at the bank and the same functionality and reporting within QuickBooks. Now I promised you an ease of reconciliation. So we'll go up here and we'll reconcile. There are obviously several ways to get to this.
We're going to select the master account. And I'm going to say I have 5,667.62. And the date will be 7 31 2020. Go ahead and reconcile. And so here you can see that this is the thousand dollars I I transferred, but it shows as an out, or rather an in, yeah, out and an in, because it's really to the same account. This is just an internal transfer. Here's check number one, check number two, one from the sub account, one from the master account. But the truth is, it's really the only only the one Wells Fargo. Uh, those are deposits, I'm sorry. And here's your checks. Check from the sub account and the check from the Wells Fargo master account. And again, it all shows up separately, completely separately, until it comes time to reconcile. And I made a 10 cent error somewhere. Well, you'll just have to live with that for now. I probably typed in, uh, I typed in 52 instead of 62. Edit. There we are. Finish now. I reconciled the account. And so what we've done is we've shown that we can segregate two accounts without having to physically have them segregated at the bank. Thank you.